County cold case that goes back 24 years is getting a fresh look tonight. Cheryl Parker's body was found in the St. Vrain River. To this day, her daughter is praying for justice and suspects her own father. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo talked to the detective re-examining this case and the daughter hoping for closure at last. Like a river. She lived to be my sister and I's mom. That was her whole life. The memories of Shelly Diller's mother continue to flow. My kids know all about her and know that she's in heaven. Cheryl Parker was known by many as Sherry. She would have been a really good grandma, but she never gets that chance now. And All she has left are these gifts of memories frozen in time. We were very close. Sherry was last seen on July 17th of 1996 after checking in at a motel in Del Camino. Nine days later, her body was found in this creek, the St. Verain Creek, just two miles from that motel. The coroner's office determined Sherry died of blunt force trauma. Now, 24 years later, a new detective is looking into the case with a set of fresh eyes, but he says the evidence is scarce. Any type of fibers or uh, DNA that would have been on the clothing or the body was certainly washed away by the river. The initial investigation revealed Sherry wanted a divorce, which made her husband, Glenn Edward Parker, a suspect. But detectives say he refused to be interviewed. And with little evidence, the case went cold. The most volatile time in a domestic violence situation is when you try to leave. And she tried to leave and ended up in a river. Do you believe your father played a role in your mother's death? Uh, very much, yeah. Shelly says her father began to openly date her mother's best friend just months after her murder, and they married about a year later. As her father moved on, Shelly's world fell apart, and so did their relationship. I used to show horses, and I never did that again in um, high school, and graduations that she never came to and have you asked your father to talk to the sheriff's office to clear him of being a suspect why won't he i have asked him and he said um that they'll just twist what he says to make him look guilty shelly continues to press for answers seeking an eyewitness to bring her a sliver of peace. I would feel grateful to have closure and be able to know exactly what happened to her. And Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. And we have reached out to Glenn Parker and his wife for comment, but our calls have not been returned. So